Have you heard of the Elmhurst Heritage Foundation? Its purpose is to provide support through advocacy, education, and fundraising for the Elmhurst History Museum, our local Elmhurst history, and the Churchville One Room Schoolhouse. Established in 2007 as a nonprofit organization, we initiated an endowment fund and raised funds to complete the renovation of the historic Churchville Schoolhouse. We conducted a capital campaign to develop the new exhibit, by all accounts, the story of Elmhurst, at the History Museum, and we continue to provide financial support to enhance exhibits, programs, and events at the museum. Yes, we feel strongly about our mission and encourage you to become a member or donor of the Elmhurst Heritage Foundation. Please call or go to our website for more information to learn about the benefits of becoming a member or donor by investing in our town, our history, our heritage. Hi, and welcome to the Elmhurst History Museum. I'm Patrice Roach of the museum staff, and today it's my pleasure to take you on a tour of our current exhibit, in her own right, Marian Mahoney Griffin. This exhibit sheds light on a little known Prairie School pioneer, Marian Mahoney Griffin. Marian was the first woman architect in Illinois, and her story is known in the field of architecture, usually associated with names like Frank Lloyd Wright, and her husband, Walter Burley Griffin, with whom she partnered on many projects. Marion was ahead of her time in both her innovative ideas and her unique drawing style, which integrated nature into the design process. She was truly a force of nature. And for that reason, we decided it was time to give her some long overdue recognition in the exhibit in her own right. Let's take a look.
Though the names Frank Lloyd Wright and Walter Burley Griffin may be more well known to people who know about American architecture, it is the often unheralded design work by Marion Mahoney Griffin that was the signature hallmark of the prairie style. Marion created detailed renderings of such masterpieces as Unity Temple in Oak Park and the plan for Canberra in Australia. Mahoney Griffin was one of Wright's first employees in the legendary Oak Park studio, and she was only the second woman to graduate from MIT's architecture program. In her own right traces Mahoney Griffin's early life, her personal and professional partnership with her husband on three different continents, her final years in Chicago where she died in relative obscurity and penniless, and it considers the legacy of a Chicagoan of immense but often overlooked importance. Some of the highlights of the In Her Own Right exhibit include two of Marian Mahoney Griffin's Japanese-style paintings on silk, known as the Forest Portraits, from a private collector, detailed illustrations by Marian on loan from the Mary and Lee Block Museum in Evanston, rare photographs from the Frank Lloyd Wright Trust National Library of Australia, Walter Burley Griffin Society, the Oak Park Public Library, and others. A model of Mahoney Griffin's first major commission, All Souls Church in Evanston, which was loaned by Griffin scholar Paul Crudy. Video interviews with Mahoney Griffin scholars and architecture educators from around the world. Another interesting feature of this exhibit is this custom-made drafting table that our curator had made by a craftsman right here in Elmhurst. It features two important pieces. One is a timeline of Marion's life and work and her family tree. And another is a kiosk where you can access Marion's book, The Magic of America, which is available online for guests to view. We invite you to experience the exhibit in her own right firsthand here at the Elmhurst History Museum, which is open through March 12, 2017. The museum is located at 120 East Park Avenue in downtown Elmhurst, right across from the Elmhurst train station. Admission is free. We have a few more really interesting programs left on our schedule here at the museum that are related to the Marion Mahoney Griffin exhibit. First is, on February 12th, we present a lecture on Marion and Walter's iconic work in Mason City, Iowa. We'll have a Griffin Scholar here as well as one of the homeowners. And in March, we are excited to connect with members of the Walter Burley Griffin Society to offer a rare opportunity to view murals that Marion designed that are located at the Armstrong School on Chicago's north side. To find out more about these programs and much more, please go to our website, which is www.elmhursthistory.org. Thanks so much for watching, and we look forward to welcoming you soon at the Elmhurst History Museum.
Welcome to Elmhurst Community Unit School District 205. A place where teaching is bold and students are highly engaged in their learning. Every student and every staff member has a story. Decisions are made based on what is best for students. Future-ready classrooms are growing and evolving daily. Those classrooms model the four C's, the future-ready super skills of communication, collaboration, critical thinking, and creativity. The educational needs of all students are met, challenging each to his or her full potential and ensuring a foundation for future success in life. All means all. Rigor, relevance, and relationships form the basis of excellence. Excellence is embedded in culture. Growth is a mindset. Diversity is embraced and celebrated. Opportunities for unique expression abound. History provides inspiration. Family and community are at the core. We are committed to raising the bar to create bright futures for our children preparing and encouraging them to reach beyond their dreams. Have you heard of the Elmhurst Heritage Foundation? Its purpose is to provide support through advocacy, education, and fundraising for the Elmhurst History Museum, our local Elmhurst history, and the Churchville One Room Schoolhouse. Established in 2007 as a nonprofit organization, we initiated an endowment fund and raised funds to complete the renovation of the historic Churchville Schoolhouse. We conducted a capital campaign to develop the new exhibit, by all accounts, the story of Elmhurst, at the History Museum, and we continue to provide financial support to enhance exhibits, programs, and events at the museum. Yes, we feel strongly about our mission and encourage you to become a member or donor of the Elmhurst Heritage Foundation. Please call or go to our website for more information to learn about the benefits of becoming a member or donor by investing in our town, our history, our heritage. Have you visited the Elmhurst Public Library lately? The Kids Library is a wonderful place When not being used for library programs and classes, Elmhurst Public Library cardholders can reserve the meeting rooms. The second floor is where you can find the adult and teen collections. An enclosed area devoted to high school students provides space to create, play, share, and study together. Use our computers, or bring your own, to our work-friendly business center. Technology classes for all expertise levels are taught in the computer lab. High quality audio and visual equipment in the creative studio gives you the opportunity to create, record, make, and invent. You can produce real items with a 3D printer and poster printer. Study rooms provide space for studying on your own or working with others. The larger gathering room is available to reserve by Elmhurst Public Library cardholders. Our convenient book drop and drive up window make picking up and returning library materials a breeze. Don't forget, Elmhurst Public Library is always open online at elmhurstpubliclibrary.org. 
The teachers are extremely approachable. The one-on-one -on -one interaction has really helped me find that passion. I learned that no goal is too big. They want you to network and then take risks because that's how it's going to be in your practical life. They want us to succeed just as much as we do. More of a learning experience, I think, outside of the classroom. Various opportunities to really dive into different viewpoints. Elmhurst fosters that environment of openness and everyone contributing to the greater good. Elmhurst really challenges you to keep an open mind. I went to Jamaica for two weeks. I came back with a whole new perspective. They will make sure no matter what your interests are, what your career path is, that there is going to be a resource on campus that is going to help you find that potential and then reach it. Through research, I've been able to go to all these new places and I've also been able to really broaden my perspective. We go in the field as pre-service teachers sophomore year. I've exceeded what I thought at 18 years old walking on this campus that I could do. Coming back to Elmhurst at my age has allowed me to see that yes, I have the potential to do other things. And it's helping me grow to be a better leader. I feel like I've been more prepared than I have ever been before in my life. I don't want to be a blank slate. I want there to be lots of dimensions to me. I'm going to be able to do something that's going to matter in this world. I want to be that voice for people that can't speak up for themselves. Without this school, I don't think I would have gone after those motivations or those dreams. The people around me and the resources the school has, has allowed me to reach my potential. Definitely ready for the real world.